everyone, QBKing77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here with my Samsung Epic 4G here to do a video showing you how to update your uh, Clockwork Mod based recovery to the HCS recovery version 1.0.0.4. Um, it does not matter what, uh, basically it does not matter what version of Clockwork Mod you have, whether it's 3.0.0.2.5 or 3.1.0.1. Um, it does not matter. This will overwrite it for you. Uh, this is just to update right now. I'll do a video as well to do from stock to flash this recovery as well if you uh, so choose. Anyways, um, I do highly recommend updating to this version of Clockwork Mod. It is a lot more stable than any one currently released for the Epic. So, um, with, uh, so I guess I can show you guys what to do. Go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Um, as you can see, it takes you to the Android Creative Syndicate Forum. Uh, big thanks to Chris41G for working on this for us. He did a very nice job. I've tested this, and so have others, and it works great. Trust me. Um, but as you can see, recovery, uh, ACS recovery, 1.0.0.4. It is Clockwork Mod 4 based. So as you can see with version 3.1.0.1, it's based off of Clockwork Mod 3. So this is Clockwork Mod 4 based, so it's going to be more stable. It's going to be better. Um, just go ahead and click on to update, click on the zip, the dot zip, so at the end, it should be ACS Recovery 1004.zip. So click on that one, it'll download, it'll look like this, just a zip file. Just click and transfer it over to your, uh, to your SD card. So click on the recovery, transfer it over to your SD card. You gotta mount your phone first, so go ahead and just plug it into your computer like I have, and just transfer it over, and once it's done transferring, right click, hit eject, and go ahead and unplug your Epic from your PC. And once it's done um, transferring over, you can just go ahead and power off your phone. So power it on down. And now once your phone has power down, you're going to need to go into Clockwork. Whatever version you have, volume down, camera button, power button at the same time. Press and hold all three of those. I press and hold them until the bottom back of the keys light up. Like so. And this should take you into whatever Clockwork Mod version you have. I have version 3.1.0.1, as you can see right there. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and just do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and hit uh, Wipe Cache Partition just to ensure that it's a clean wipe. Just hit Wipe Cache and then go to Advanced and hit Wipe Dalvik Cache and hit Yes. And just wipe those two. You don't need to do it three times. Just do it once and then hit uh, Go Back and then hit Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card and then navigate to wherever you put ACS Recovery 1004.zip right there and press the camera button to select and hit Yes. Install ACS Recovery and press it. It's going to install the... Uh, Clock, the new clockwork for you and now uh, once it's done installing it says please reboot so hit go back reboot your phone first boot up this boot up is going to take a little while since um, Dalva cash was wiped so be patient with this boot up and then once you are done booting up basically you'll have the updated ACS recovery so once uh, you go back into clockwork you will have the updated ACS recovery so I'm going to go ahead and uh, run through some features same way to get into clockwork volume down camera button powered button all at the same time press and hold basically same ways to get into clockwork you'll just have the updated once you go back into it okay so I went ahead and powered back down I'm going to go back into clockwork volume down camera button power button at the same time press and hold to the bottom back the keys light up and once it uh, goes into clockwork I should be on ACS Recovery version 1.0.0.4 and there you go as you can see ACS Recovery at the bottom version 1.0.0.4 Clockwork Mod 4 based and it has a nice ACS Shield emblem right there which is very cool the theming of this Clockwork is great I love the color scheme I basically love everything about it so uh, as you can see up at the top you got red saying ACS Recovery whoops sorry guys and then you got blue menu options and with white text when you highlight it. So to navigate, same as always, volume up and down, camera button to select. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and run through some cool features now with you guys. Uh, basically, it has a power off option, which is nice because uh, in case you need to just power it off from clockwork, that's a nice feature to have. So you got a power off button right there. You got download mode. So in case you want to uh, go straight into download mode from clockwork, you have the ability to. 
Wipe data factory reset as always the same thing. Wipe cache as always the same thing. Install zip from SD card. I'm going to go into that in a little bit. Um, and you have backup and restore in case you want to do an Android backups. Things of that. Restore your uh, previous setups. Mounts and storage. You can select that and then you hit mount USB storage with your phone plugged into your computer. And it will mount your SD card in case you want to transfer, transfer some files with your phone only and clockwork. Um, and also you have the advanced uh, menu where you can reboot into recovery, wipe Dalvik cache, wipe battery stats, uh, just do a couple other things as well. So um, just I'm going to go back to install zip from SD card. So as a test, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys that to install a theme or something, I'm going to go to install zip from SD card and you have some options, some new options. You can choose zip from SD card as always or you have pre-theme install wipe or pre-ROM install wipe. These are some great new features added to this clockwork uh, courtesy of ACS. So basically uh, pre-theme install wipe is going to wipe cache and Dalvik cache for you. Um, which is what is necessary to do before you flash a theme. And pre-ROM install wipes actually going to wipe your system data, your cache, and your Dalvik cache as well. So everything's going to be wiped for you all in one. So if I want to go to pre-theme install wipe, I'm just going to hit yes, wipe. And basically Dalvik cache and cache was wiped. It says it right there. So basically both of those are wiped for me. I can go ahead and flash a theme if I want to. Um, I can just hit choose zip from SD card and navigate to a theme if I want to go to a theme. So there's that right there which is very nice. That's one of the very key features that this uh, new Clockwork Mod version has as well. If you do want to do it manually, feel free if you want to just go ahead and go to wipe cache partition. As you can see you don't have to scroll through a bunch of things. You got no and yes which is awesome. Uh, you can just hit yes, wipe cache and there you go, cache is wiped. Um, but another thing is you don't have to do it, if you want to do it manually you can, you don't have to do it three times each anymore with this clockwork since it is so stable that it works well, you can only, you only need to do it once. So uh, if you want to just do pre-theme or pre-ROM wipe, it just click it once, it'll do it for you, it'll run through it and basically it's going to be, it's going to work, it's going to flash correctly and it, since it'll wipe everything correctly the first time, which is very nice since it is Clockwork Mod 4 based, it does uh, basically have under the hood speed and stability enhancements as well. I'm sure it'll be fast when you do an Android backups as well. Basically everything about this is a lot more advanced than the previous versions of Clockwork Mod. So um, if you do have any questions updating to this version of ACS Clockwork Mod, uh, please ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, as always, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links are going to be in the description of the video and feel free to subscribe to me as well for future future how-to videos and thanks for watching i hope you guys like the video